Hello, I'm Nicholas Boyarski. And I'm Nicola Murphy. We're delighted that Drawing Ambiance is opening in Taipei at the Judge Gallery. And we'd like, first of all, to thank a number of people who've been essential to making the exhibition happen. First off to David Singh, who really made the introductions to the Jack Foundation and has been an indispensable ally in, in preparing the show. Then to uh, Shan Shan, Rich and Shui at uh, the Jack Foundation, particularly Rich, who's made everything happen, everything possible. Very smoothly. Very smoothly. We'd also like to think, thank um, Jia Gang Chi, and the Winsing Art Place for their um, help and support and for very kindly lending a number of really important documents that are on exhibit here. Um, and finally, we'd again like to thank Jan Howard and Igor Majanovic, the curators of the show, who are you know, responsible really for everything you're seeing. It's a really great, exciting opportunity for, for the drawings to be shown in Taiwan. Um, Alvin Boyarski, my father, had very little contact with Taiwan. He, he did travel in Asia. I know he was in Japan. He was in uh, uh, Singapore, Malaysia. But it's very exciting to us that that there's an interest in this, the work from this period, and the idea of you know hand drawings in Taiwan now. Um, and 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 we're really excited to see the sort of discourse, the exchange that happens between this collection of drawings and um, the show, because we believe that the drawings are living objects. They have a life, and every time they travel, they go to a place, they change slightly. We They change in the way we see them, and obviously they change in relationship to the comments and the, the, the interaction that people have with them. They're not uh, digital drawings. This is from the pre-digital period, so everything's analog, everything's by hand, and therefore it the drawings, as it were, register the emotions, the feelings, the sensations of each of the architects who, who created the drawings. Now, the word ambiance is, is really important. It's, it's a word that Alvin Boyarsky used a lot to describe the AA and uh, the, the AA that he created in the 1970s and 80s. Ambiance means a, a feeling of mood associated with a particular place, person or thing. Uh, another definition would be ambiance as a character or quality of a place. So what we're bringing to you in the design of the exhibition is this sense of engagement with place and time and an invitation for you to really um, explore, enter that. to enter that and to explore what the making of architecture was in that period. Um, the other theme we'd like to introduce you to is that the notion of conversations. These drawings are all were all gifts to my father, Alvin Boyarsky. They were, they were never purchased. They're always gifts. And I think people in those days made exchanges of their work as part of broader conversations. So you will see through the way we structured the exhibition, which incidentally goes further back and looks at the summer session period, of Arvin's life, you'll see conversations with particular architects or groups of architects over a period of 15 or 20 years, and you'll see how they developed and how their work really grew. Now, some of the architects here became very, very famous after this period, such as Zaha Hadid, Danny Liebskin, Rem Koolhaas, Bernard Chumi. There's also a range of very interesting other work by architects who, whilst maybe they didn't, you know, become so successful, also made important contributions to, to the period and to where we are now. So once again, we're just delighted that, uh, very, very excited the exhibition's finally in Asia, and that's in Taiwan it, as its first location. And Taiwan is a country close to my heart. I've been there many times, and we look forward to coming to visit and seeing the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dear friends in Taiwan and around the world, I'm delighted that the exhibition Drawing Ambience, Alvin Boyarsky and the Architectural Association is now on view at the Jat Art Museum in Taipei. My name is Igor Marjanovic and I'm the Johan Stoller of Kotzen Professor and Chair of Undergraduate Architecture Program at Washington University in St. Louis. Together with Jen Howard, I'm also one of the exhibition curators. I'm extremely sorry that I cannot join you in person due to the global COVID pandemic, 
but I'm deeply grateful to the Judd Art Museum for the truly collaborative spirit that they brought to this traveling exhibition. I'm connecting with you today from the Mildred Lane Kemper Art Museum, which is where the exhibition originated in 2014, before traveling to the RISD Museum and five other venues before Taipei. The show's longevity speaks to the power of the imaginative spirit of drawing, as well as to its capacity to speak to diverse audiences around the world. We are particularly thrilled that the show is now coming to Asia and are looking forward to a continued dialogue about drawing across cultural, national, and political lines. Enjoy the exhibition, and when you get a chance, please take a moment to let us know what you think about it. Thank you, stay safe and healthy, and goodbye. Dear audiences in Taiwan, I'm so excited that Drawing Ambiance, Alvin Boyarsky and the Architectural Association is now in Taipei at the Jet Art Museum. I'm Jan Howard, the curator of prints, drawings, and photographs at the RISD Museum at the Rhode Island School of Design in Providence, Rhode Island, and I'm a co-curator for the exhibition. Behind me, you see our Raphael Maneo building, which is where we presented the show. I wanted to bring a bit of my world to you as COVID continues to keep us apart. It's extraordinary that the exhibition is now in Asia. I'm sure that Alvin Boyarsky, who collected these works as he gathered together architects from around the world, advancing the field through drawing, would be thrilled to know that you are continuing the conversations he started with these now rare works. Created before digital technology dominated our world, they still have so much to teach us about the continued relevance of thinking with the hand on paper, and they can only be deeply understood seeing them in person. We're so pleased that our wonderful colleagues at the Jet Art Museum also appreciate the importance of making this work available to you.